Hello Joy Fuelers and welcome to our Joy Fuel Kindcast, a video and audio series featuring extraordinary everyday people sharing around kindness, creativity and joy. I'm Becky Jane, your host for today. Thank you for listening. It is my joy to introduce you to Teresa Suchi McGraw on the Joy Fuel Kindcast today. Teresa is an artist and teacher living and playing in Darien, Illinois and the greater Chicago area. She is an expressive arts educator embracing four foundational creative practices in exploratory art, mandalas, nature art, and group art. As a certified Ageless Grace educator, she shares how natural and organic movements, imagination along with a sense of humor, and music contribute to our longevity of body and mind. Teresa enjoys simple pleasures in life, like sunrises and sunsets, nature walks, creating new edible creations in the kitchen, and spending time with family and friends. Teresa loves to incorporate play as a core ingredient to everything she does and makes. <laughs> Welcome! Hi, Hi Becky! <laughs> We're so excited that we're going to do this and we have our little welcome bubbles. I know you have your bubbles too. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, hello. Hello. I love that. Little welcome ceremony bubbles <laughs> as we begin our Joy Fuel Kind Cast. And today I'm just so grateful that Teresa Suchi McGraw is joining us from Darien, Illinois to talk about creativity. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> And um, we're, uh, we're hoping to share with you some things that you can do to help activate in your awareness more creativity and help you perhaps if you have any resistance to expressing yourself through creativity through our conversation. We're hoping we'll, we'll be able to inspire you to, to play like we're going to in a little while. But before we do that, I wanted to um, invite Teresa to share a little bit about what brings her joy, uh, whether it's creativity or what types of things that you enjoy doing, Teresa, that bring you joy? Oh my gosh, there's so many things that um, that bring me joy. Art is a big, big one of them because it's always been part of my life ever since I was a little child. And um, but I think you know, being that connection to nature and being out in nature and just having. And looking at the world through the eyes of a child, even even at the, where I'm at in my life right now, just to keep that childlike outlook on life is what um, that brings that joy bubble. <laughs> All those joy bubbles that we were blowing out just a little bit ago. So nature, expressive arts, and um, being around lovely people like you. <laughs> Activate our joy. <laughs> uh huh. Well, um, for the uh, as I've shared with you, kind casts. Our intention is to share things that help activate greater joy in our lives, and kindness mm. and creativity. And those three are like the trifecta. Could we get those three going? Then <laughs> hopefully each three augment the other and just help us to uh to engage in in uh activate more health in our lives too and in our bodies i've certainly felt that the more that i experiment with those three energies the more vitality i feel and the more i actually actually feel like what you were saying about playing like a child i still feel like i have that child in me i had to reclaim her uh, <laughs> it was reclaim, a long, yes. there was a long period of uh working where it, where i was not playing i was definitely working and now it's been a, a work to recapture that playful heart again and um and now just you know be able to play especially with art and sometimes people have great resistance in the creative process like i have spoken with a lot of women um who talk about how they used to be creative when they were younger and they would express themselves and they would love to color or do art and make things but as they got older perhaps somebody told them something that then changed their opinion of the creative process and they didn't anymore want to express themselves for the joy of it because they had a, a 
uh, negative experience that was kind of um, that that reshaped their identity over their creativity. Has that ever been something that you've grappled with, or would you have any words of wisdom to share with people who feel mm. that they are not creative, perhaps? We all have. I I feel that we're all creators and we all have that creativity within us and it just needs to be awakened and sparked um, and we all go through phases and uh, along our journey that may we put it aside for a while we forget we have it but then it, along the journey we um, something sparks it again to come alive so um, being art around, being around art, all as I grew up with my my grandma and my mom and my sister, always doing crafts and everything, and then going to art school, and then after that, it was more social and being with friends. But when I when I had um, my children, especially when they were were really really young, that's when it got really sparked, um, and. They they brought it out in me, and I brought it out in them as well. It's like observing them and just participating was a big, big part of um, moving towards the expressive arts and more out of like I'm going to draw a house or I'm going to draw a tree, and this is like the end result. It was just more about pure expression. And, um, and as I move on through working with other people out in community and classes, it's, um, I find others in the same position where they come to a place where they have to, you know, actually give themselves permission to be in this, this space that's safe and then um, come into that present moment and then they are like, yeah, you know what, I, I have never felt like this for the longest of time and now they're going to go take it home and continue whatever that spark was in that creative process for them. But, um, yeah, and let's go on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm babbling now. <laughs> no, no, that sounds like it's so true. Um, mm. You know, sometimes um, some of the play shops that I've been part of, um, mm. when we start saying negative things about what we're doing, like, um, mm -hmm. oh, that looks really bad, or we get into that judgment zone. Like I'll find myself now. I, I will talk myself through it. Like some of my art that I share in Joy Fuel, I call it my heart. Mm -hmm. You know, H E capital A R T because I get out of my own way and I can be very critical of it. I can be very critical of my writing, of you know, of my music, of anything. But when I'm doing it, I try to just recognize that resistance come up in me and that judgment. And recognize mm. that that's not it. That's not why I'm doing it. That the joy of doing it. It's like just that action it doesn't matter what it looks like ultimately because it's the pleasure yeah. of doing it you know it's yeah that's that's what i want to focus on and so i get out of my way and i just say this is heart work you know and <laughs> i'm not aspiring necessarily to be in a museum i just want to do it for the joy yeah. of it because for yeah, the joy of it yeah we call those um inspired opportunities too um when maybe a brush stroke went a different way than what we were planning on. There's just all awesome, inspired opportunities. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My children's mm -hmm. art teacher, when they were in, in the younger elementary school, would say, um, be an art doctor. Like, if you think you made a mistake, oh. it's your opportunity to be an art doctor and turn it into something else. And the most amazing things, I remember when my younger daughter told me that, I'm like, oh, I love that, you know? <laughs> there are no mistakes. We can just be an art doctor. Turn it into something else. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh... Um, can you share a little bit about the, the play shops that you enjoy doing with people and some experience? In a, in a few minutes, we're going to be talking specifically about mandalas, and I know you have a lot of experience mm -hmm. um, helping people through that process. Can you share a little bit around that? Um, I like to call uh, what, or when I come into a gathering with people and facilitate, it's, it's, I, it's about coming together and 
it's pure expression. I, that's all I can always say is like those expressive arts. It's when you're coming in and, and you're touching that your inner world or your, it's like soul play. We call it soul play, expressive arts, and um, anything goes. So move beyond your comfort zone and um we do everything because creativity can come in all forms. It doesn't have to be, you know, just paint on a canvas. We do all kinds of things from jewelry to um, mixed media to um, doing things with nature um, or working with beans and seeds. So um, we can be creative in so many ways that just touches that that part of us that brings out our true self and our essence. Can you talk a little bit about beans and seeds? <laughs> what what ah, do you do okay. with those? <laughs> yeah, well, that, that ties into the mandala work and um, mindful meditation. So this is a really sort of interesting story. There was one, it was in the fall when all the, the squashes were coming, you know, in the, the markets and everything. And I had a butternut squash and I had all these seeds that I, you know, you scoop out of it. And I just started playing with them on the counter and started creating all, you know, mandalas. And I'm like, hmm, okay. I was so in the moment and so calm and peaceful when I was creating those. How can I share this with other people? And I just was, just started doing some research on like the most beautiful seeds in the world and where can I get them? And are there, seeds with different designs and what ones are available. So I I got all these different kinds of seeds and put together a little kit type thing and brought it to this wellness house where I work and um, share it with those that are in support groups because it allows them to talk at the same time as be in the moment and um, it's just, it's very calming for them as well. Wonderful, and you and you made mandalas with them. Yeah, um, they could be anything. I love creating mandalas, but they could be anything. Symbols, whatever is in that moment for it could be anything. <laughs> That's wonderful. Teresa has given us, and I'll be sharing a link with everybody, a PDF that features some of her mandala work and some. Um, mm -hmm. like a mini tutorial that's printed out so you can um, have a look at that um, using the link below and check it out so you can can see some of her beautiful work and the photos did you include some photos in that from the group that you were with or were they all your mandalas in that um, they are all mine just due to the you know yeah. um, it's their personal work mm -hmm. yeah, Wonderful. yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Great. well um, is there anything you'd like to share before we start talking more about mandalas? <laughs> um, I would say that wherever you can, um, I think writing and um, any kind of any kind of art tools, be it paint or pencils or pens, to just keep them available for you. Um, at different places in your house, it doesn't have to be in a designated spot or in a studio, and or even in your car, um, and, or even with your iPhone or whatever type of phone you have, one that records your ideas and your voices, and um, so that you can come back and and hear that your voice and hear your ideas if you don't have a chance to write it down. But I think to have have when when we have these aha moments and we, we just never know when we're going to be where we're going to be at and to have tools available to us um, is wonderful and it's like the the con the consciousness consciousness is streaming through us as us and then out through our heart and through our arms into and on through our voice from our heart into whatever we have access to so keep just keep things near you, and um, and you, you'll be amazed at what you can create. Yeah, that's beautiful. I love that. Having and having things right there, then you don't have a reason not to do it because you've got it in your purse, or you have it in your car, and 
you're stuck yeah. in, you know if you're waiting for somebody or you have your instant little toolkit to be expressive and creative and activate that joy Mm -hmm. Especially like if you're at a stop sign or whatever, a stoplight, you can get out and doodle. <laughs> yeah, so many people are getting out their phones now and, you know, checking. I know. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this Let's might might a, be a little a safer. <laughs> doodle while you're at the stoplight. <laughs> doodle instead of uh, text. <laughs> uh-huh. Exactly. <laughs> might be a little safer. Uh -huh. Well, uh -huh. um, uh, I think that's that's really wonderful and creative well what we're going to talk about now is um, a little project that we want to invite you all our watchers and listeners to participate and join us in a little mandala um, creating and for the next um, week of joy fuel and beyond as we get um, other submissions or other photos of images of, of mandalas that you make we're inviting you to make a mandala out of anything. It could be out of pieces of nature, it could be seeds, it could be paint, art supplies, whatever speaks to you. Uh, and um, send a picture to me and we're going to incorporate it in some kind of piece of art. Not quite sure what exactly because it depends how many of us are collaborating. collaborating. And then uh, we will share it back out with everybody who's, who sends something in so that we can make a group mandala out of our mandalas. <laughs> mm, that's so wonderful. When, when we come into community like that with the sharing our art, I just love that. Yeah. It's so powerful and empowering. It empowers us. Um, it just that we're all connected. It really shows that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like maybe it could be a group mandala for joy and if we uh, if we're able to if I'm able to photograph it somehow or capture it if I take the, the digital images maybe it could become your desktop uh, image on your computer or your phone backdrop or your um, uh, if you're on Facebook your you know big message so just to have a collection of other people's contributions around the energy of joy. I just think it would be really fun to see what we can make together just with all the yeah. creations. And I want to share a few mandalas that um, I've been blessed to be part of just to give some starting place, just so you can see like how variable and versatile, how, you know, each one is so different and so unique. This is one that that a group of eight people made. Let's see if you can see this. So, oh yeah. So we what we did was there were a group of women who came together. I don't know if you can see the words, and we each had colored pencils, and for about two minutes we each started drawing, sure. writing words and different things, and then. After a few minutes, we passed it to the right and everybody passed theirs around. So we ended up with eight different mandalas. Um, but this one, this has different words on it. And um, just, I thought it really, I love, I love the simplicity of it and how it was co-created. And then there's this one that we got some of my favorite color, which is glitter. We got some glitter on. <laughs> we used some of those really cool. Um, uh, that's beautiful. Kind of oh my gosh. And this one was another co-created one from another gathering that we had. And you can see all these different things. And just so simple. So could you draw them. something different on each mandala as it came around? Or did it always have to be like the same thing? It was different. So we different, ended up, different. this was from a different night, but um, every okay. time we would get together, um, well, every time it would go to the next person, one person like me, I like writing words, so I would add some words, if they were, if, and, or if there were words, add more words. And we just kept going around and around. And one person really liked using the, sequ the little gluey sequins. And somebody mm -hmm. had already painted this sun, and then she went in and put these little you know razzle dazzle things on them and it just completely evolved and you can see it even looks like you know it's coming out of the spiral so like a spiral dynamic and then somebody mm. put the tree there and then decorated it with the leaf little sequence so just really mm. fun 
And then this last one I'll show you is one that my daughter and I, um, we made. We haven't finished it, but we've done, we started out by doing, we, um, it's black and white. And she and I went back and forth with two different um, pieces of paper. We started out, actually did it with pencil first. And you can see like the earth and the sun and we st started putting Oh birds. my gosh. And she and I did this one together and we, we plan to go back and add color, um, you know, now that it's all pen penned in. But we started out by doing it with pencil. Then we went over it mm -hmm. with black pen just to make it to pop a little more. And Emma was really fascinated by different words for peace. So you can see we looked up. Oh, my gosh. For, for peace. On the Those list. are so amazing <laughs> and beautiful. So ah! they, just, and they, they just were born of themselves, like because of the words, you know, um, putting peace and shalom. Peace and shalom. Just mm. because we could, you know, like maybe as we're doing joy, I might want to look up different words for joy in different languages. That would be really fun. Um, mm -hmm. So those are just some examples, very simple and beautiful. And as they are being made, the energy in the room, we usually have some nice music or um, it's very relaxing. And if you notice any any um, feelings of, oh, this is looking terrible, you just take a deep breath and let that go because that's just a judgment. Yeah. Like it, what you ultimately yeah. end up with awesome. after you let go of that inner critic is this beautiful thing that you made in that moment before that you can you know have in your house you can it's just a beautiful gift if we can get out of our heads you know and just go into yeah. that truly a gift truly a gift i like to have people put their hands on their heart too just to be in that heart space uh, yeah that's mm. that's wonderful i have a little um reading from uh pima children's book living beautifully with uncertainty and that's change it. and she t is talking about mandalas as the way we live our life is like a mandala and i wanted to share that with everybody because mm. it just is such a beautiful um excerpt from her book that i think can help us to even more activate our creativity and in the creation of a mandala um, that's, you know, this external artistic expression of ourselves, but also recognizing that our own life is the spiral of a mandala and how we create mm. it. So I'll just take a moment to read this from Pima Chodron. Okay. Each person's life is like a mandala, a vast, limitless circle. We stand in the center of our own circle and everything we see, hear and think forms the mandala of our life. We enter a room and the room is our mandala. We get, we get on the subway and the subway car is our mandala. Down to the teenager checking messages on her iPhone and the homeless man slumped in the corner. We go for mm. a hike in the mountains and everything as far as we can see is our mandala. The clouds, the trees, the snow on the peaks, even the rattlesnake coiled snake. in the corner. We're lying in a hospital bed, and the hospital is our mandala. We don't set it up. We don't get to choose what or who shows up in it. It is, as Chogyam Trungpa said, the mandala that is never arranged, but is always complete. Mm -hmm. And we embrace mm -hmm. it just as it is. Everything that shows up in your mandala is a vehicle for your awakening. From this point of view, awakening is right at your fingertips continually. There's not a drop of rain or a pile of dog or poop a pile of dog. that appears in your life that isn't the manifestation <laughs> of enlightened energy that isn't a doorway to the sacred world. But I it's up that. to you uh. whether your life is a mandala of neurosis or a mandala of sanity. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that. I love that. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you know, um, i that's why I've been personally working with mandalas for so long. I don't think I could, I'll be drawing mandalas for the rest of my, my life here on this planet that um, the more 
it has just brought me to um, who who I am. You know, we are that center in that circle of that mandala, and everything radiates out, even from our our voice, our actions, our thoughts. It's like, and wherever we go, it's there's there's that world that's that's reflection back to us and um we are creators we are a creator and it's so lovely yeah. but i didn't realize that before i started working with mandalas so it was during the process of doing that process. that you could see it that you discovered it yes over time how how just more at peace and uh, the level of happiness went up and up and up and up. <laughs> mm. That's wonderful. Well, we're mm. uh, going to share some um, ideas for how our joy fuelers can make their own mandalas. Um, before we do our example, is there anything you want to share about that particularly? Um, well, there's many ways. Now, online you can find a lot of adult coloring books where you can actually go and just there's an already a pre um, drawn mandalas for you to color in that's a great introduction to mandalas who someone who maybe might say to themselves you know I can't draw or anything like that that's a great way to get started with working within the circle and patterns and shapes and color um, another way would be to like you were saying earlier, when on your nature walks, go and pick up a stick and some leaves, or if you have flowers in your house, and take some petals and just arrange them on a plate or something that um, is your patterns are coming out from the center, or they don't have to be, just they could be within a circle. Um, I know, and once it's once you start being in tuned or tuned to the circle you'll be seeing circles everywhere like from the pizzas we eat or you know slices of pies um <laughs> i've created with my daughter before we've created mandala pizzas um that are like rainbow colors going out so i mean you can create them that way too <laughs> which is really delicious and um and on mandala. my website i have I know it's wonderful on my website I have several um, tutorials um, I, that you can download as well for um, I call them connect the dots so it's basically taking um, just drawing lines from dot to dot and you can create your own patterns within the circle I really like it because it's very very basic and, and you you don't have to um, have this preconceived image of what it's going to look like. It's just going to come, um, take its own shape and form. Um, let me see what else. And I love being in groups, getting together and gathering with your friends and just taking a, a plate and drawing a circle and passing it around and adding words and shapes and colors with colored pencils or markers or anything. I love community. Community is a great way to um, to experience mandala as well for that unity aspect of it. Yeah, like so the, that's, like those are some ways. <laughs> like the ones I was showing you where we use pieces of glitter and, and uh, little yes. and things. It's like yes. You never know what it's going to come back to you looking like because everybody adds their beauty you to it. You don't. <laughs> Yeah. And for those uh, of you who have children, you may want to engage your children in this process and just see what you can learn from them in it because they really give over to it. So like you saw mm -hmm. what my daughter and I made, she just mm -hmm. inspired me to just, it, you know, just turned out so different than what I thought and more beautiful and an mm -hmm. enhancement of both of yeah. each other's um, expressions. It's really nice. So mm -hmm. it's a fun way to yeah. get people creating together. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's another thing too. There, there's um, so many different ways of working with the mandala that um, they don't all have to be radial, where you're working out from the center. They can, it could just be one image within that that circle because um, 
messages come to us in symbols and shapes and colors so it's all um it all resonates with us in one way or another mm -hmm. wonderful well shall we share our idea what we oh. came up with with how we could do a mandala and and you and i do one together by <laughs> yes let's do it <laughs> All righty. We'll get our canvases out. <laughs> All right. There we go. <laughs> All right, man, we're both set up. This is great. Better get one. There we go. Handy dandy towel. So we both wanted okay. we wanted everybody to be able to see what we're doing without us trying to figure out how because it's just us alone in separate cities doing this we don't have somebody videoing Sorry. other than our video recorders so we um we got our little setup here of of how we could do it using you've got a piece of acrylic right is it acrylic? i have a piece of acrylic yes <laughs> and i've got a Oops. um protective sheet holder from you know a folder with the three holes in it so it's clear plastic too so <laughs> there okay well, um, I'm gonna paint on that side and that side this side hmm. I'm okay are you starting I did. All right. <laughs> okay. On your marks, you get set. Get set, go. <laughs> um. All right. Ah. There is something that I'm finding about working with clear material um, and having someone sit on the other side of the clear material and painting over them and they disappear. That's a neat um, idea. Like if we had somebody it, the other side of your acrylic, you could both completely add to it at the same time instead of having to pass it back and forth. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Is that what you meant? What you meant? Um, or like um, if I wanted to paint you and you would be on the other side of the acrylic and I would start filling in your features and all of a sudden you disappear. And it's really, and for both you and me, it's a very, very, um, your perception just changes. It's like, where are you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if I can paint and talk at the same time. <laughs> I think so. Did you have any visions for what you want this to look like? Because I didn't. <laughs> I just thought, I'm just going to... No, this is called intuitive painting, and this is exactly what's, what's happening. Okay. Now I'm going to look at what you're doing to see if I can get inspiration from what you're doing. <laughs> now... Are you using what kind of paints? I just have a strip paints that you can get at a craft store. Oh, strip, strip oh acrylic. they're acrylic? Yep. Okay. Nice simple. Wonderful. I love it. We just get our colors on there. Mm. I noticed I was being too precious before. I need to be less precious. Just get the paint on there. <laughs> <laughs> Come uh, on. Uh, Throw it on there. Uh, Right. 
Okay, one more color. What's this? I like all your colors. Are you using primaries? What What are you using? What's... I have a variety of colors. Some are fluorescent and some are um, not fluorescent. You were adding the, uh, you know, like the shiny stuff to be the mandalas. Um, when you guys are passing them around, I love to also include metallic and pearlescent paints when, um, yeah. when I bring the paints out for everybody yeah, because it really, really that little pearlescent paint. Mm -hmm. and you can get it I'm a, you know I'm the coupon oh. queen get the coupon and go to the craft store and go get a really nice set of I love Martha Stewart's pearlescent paints <laughs> they're so gorgeous oh. and you can get them with the coupon for 40% off so it's <laughs> How are you doing there? Let's see. Hi. Oh my god! I'm getting there. I think I'm starting to feel some words now. I don't know if it will appear on the screen backwards or not, but I'm gonna. Um... <laughs> All right. There we go. I'm throwing some words on there now. Can you see them? Are they backwards to you? They are. Yes. They're backwards. <laughs> when we're done, we'll have to hold something up so everybody can see better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got my Sharpie markers going now. Sort of, some of them. Some of them are not going. <laughs> okay, I think. My blue. Uh -oh. Hmm. oh, I like that. Is that white you put in there? I did put white in there. Mm -hmm. There. Hmm. All righty. Let's see. How are we doing? Done. I'm nearly there. How about you? I think so. Just coloring. I don't know if I need to turn this around. I might turn it around. <laughs> oh, there, there we go. much fun well i hope if anybody's oh if, as people are watching us you can actually grab your stuff and do it with us right now too yeah please you know, do it like, with us even if you don't have paints just pencils even just even pens and pencils just whatever you have office supplies you know you can just kind of or if you have a a, a mirror go and 
Oh, yeah. Use a mirror and paint on a mirror. Oh, that is fun. I love doing that. Yeah. And you can use Sharpie markers on a mirror and it will come off with a little mm -hmm. bit of baking soda and water. Sometimes we'll do yeah. that like for birthday yeah. messages and you can, um, but you can really go, <laughs> go color crazy yeah. and get it all on the mirror. And see how many different, different surfaces you can paint on. Um, Cause there's, there's so much more to explore than just paper. All right. I am, um, I am, <laughs> I am done. I'm nearly, I'm, well, Oh, beautiful. Oh, I love yours. <laughs> I wish we could swoosh them up against each other so they could like turn into the next one, like swoosh it together. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's see. Uh oh. L O B E. There. I'm done. Ah. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna put something behind mine. See if you can see it a little better without this the light on it. Made well, this, the, I guess from there, the light of the. Um... Oh my gosh! <laughs> so we were very, very into. Um, I could tell that we were creating in sync with each other. You know, by the way we we um, had the shapes coming out from the center and our dots. Wow, that's beautiful. That was really fun. <laughs> really beautiful. Oh. Um, uh, well, I'm hoping that this was is going to be fun for other people other than you and I. <laughs> that is <laughs> all our joy fuelers, and if you're finding this video and you're not part of joy fuel and you don't know what the heck we're talking about with joy fuel, this is for you too. <laughs> we want you to ex right. express for yourself creatively and just play. Uh, you know, we have that. <laughs> that Oh. Playfulness inside of us, ready to come out and just just make something because you can. <laughs> right, just because you can. That's right. Oh. And do it, do it before you um, uh, go to bed in the evening. Make it, just make it as like one of your um, in the moment, in the moment. Um, I'm going to do this because I can, and, and it's okay, you know? Yeah, it feels mm -hmm. really wonderful. Well, I'm so grateful, Teresa, for you joining us today oh, and for doing this. see that flashing this. pan. I want to give you a big hug over the, inter over the internet. <laughs> That's hug it. to everybody. A big hug to everybody. <laughs> and um, thank you so much for for playing together in this way and um i'll put links underneath the video for everybody so you can download other um of teresa's goodies and um a link to her website as well so yeah we'll blow the bubbles my phone's ringing but that's our <laughs> we got our <laughs> wonderful oh thank you so much and sending lots of love and joy and creativity out to everybody and thank all joy feelers for watching us and we'll talk with you soon <laughs> there was one more bubble that just went by i saw that last bubble <laughs> thank you <laughs> take care you have been listening to the Joy Fuel Kind Cast, a video and audio series featuring extraordinary people sharing ideas around kindness, creativity, and joy. If you enjoyed today's Kind Cast, you're invited to our website where you'll find more joy infused ideas and support to help you activate greater joy and joy guardianship in your life. Visit www.com joyfuel.org
kindness to every single living soul Can you see your love for me shining through? Cause what you see in me, I can see in you And soon enough, you and me will be out of time And kindness will be all we can be